something. Uh, I thought I'd give you another football manager uh, lesson. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, uh, give a. I'm gonna go at the Concord Rangers. Uh, see how see what we've been doing since last one, and look at our next game. I thought I'd start off with the main menu here because uh, what I noticed yesterday is that when you've got your is in your last load, the uh, the change room you can see behind me you see that very handsome figure there looks a lot like me more like a suave sort of floppy haired version of me but it doesn't have the ponytail version so couldn't do that but yeah you can see the the back there you can see the sort of uh, the dressing room it's got my players very very closely I can see just the one just to uh, Left of my head, that's Zach Swanson, that's my left back. And my right back rather. Got Ollie Dafter there. Smith, McGinn. Love it. Brilliant. Love the detail. Thank you. Okay, let's get cracking with this then, shall we? Okay, into the game. We uh I'll tell you how far how what we've been doing so far. Not too bad. Second in the table. I'll show you how we've been getting on in our games. So obviously the last time we uh, beat Steven each 1-0, first game of the season. Undefeated so far this season. My big worry though, but I mean we've got 4-2, 2-1, 2-2, 3-3, 4-2, defence. I'm a bit worried about the defenders at the moment. Um, I've been told that the centre-back partnership of Nugent and Hickey, I think they're not working. They're not getting on together. Um, I'll tell you what I've done to try and remedy that in a minute. But yeah, 1 4 2 against Aldershot, quite comfortable. 2 1 against Bradford, was 1 0 down that game, came back. Torquay, 2 2, was leading twice in that game, couldn't hold on. 3 3 against Bromley, Bromley, bottom of the league, we were 3 1 up, and then let that league go. Disappointing. Borenwood, I was pleased with, because Borenwood were up there and they were free scoring, and we beat them 4 2. Happy with that. Stockport. 2-2 two, two draw away, uh, we were winning that 2-0, but Stockport are top of the league, and at that point had won every game and was winning every game comfortably. We were 2-0 up, then had a man sent off, I can show you that. Yeah, 2-0 up, Gullin and Greenwood put us 2-0 up, went to 2-1, you were sent off, then it was all back, all hands on deck, conceded an equaliser. Held on for a draw, so we'd taken the points off the teams, taking points off teams that are doing quite well in Bournemouth and Stockport. Now we've got the one I was looking forward to. Manager Doswell was slagging us off, thinking we we're going to get relegated. We're favourites to win the title. We're second in the league, undefeated thus far. I want that. I want to show this team what a good football team looks like. They're eighth at the moment. I mean, if I show you the league, there you have it on Waterville. 4 1 and 2, lost two games. Let's make that a third, shall we? I, I don't want to be losing this game. I will turn around, point fingers at Doswell, and bloody laugh at him. Are you with me? Let's do it. Have it on Waterlooville. Ridiculous name for a club. I'm not, I, I take that back. It's not a ridiculous name, it's just a place, obviously. Couple of places, but it's a bit haven't and what Louisville. Unfair, if anything, they combined. But we've got them today. Oh. Um, in terms of, I was talking about how we've tried to rectify the defensive problem. I have bought in a very promising young centre back on loan. Only nineteen years old, but he's highly rated. He's on loan, I think, from Palace. Yeah, he is on loan from Palace. He's come all the way down from the Premier League. But yeah. Um, Dickinson joined in the end, the left back on loan also. Uh, where's he on loan from? I think he's from a decent club as well. Ipswich. You're not so good, but you know, he fills that hole. I'm quite pleased with the team at the moment. Gullen's been scoring for fun. Greenwood, play attack and left mid. He's been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Always listen to this. I, I trust this man with my life, so I 
will be listening to you, my friend. Into the team selection, right? What's he going for? What's he saying? Going on the right. I did have that thing as my two right midfielders, one's injured and one suspended. So I might have to go with Gullen on the right if he's the only man who can fit there. Play Smith. Smith's perfectly legitimate to go in there. I put him as an inside forward. It's not his strongest position. Second midfielder there for Allen. Yeah, Smith up front on his own. I've got Hamilton. No, I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to stick with this and change it up if need be. Got a lot of defensive players on the bench. Might take one of them off. What have I got on there? Yeah, so the new guy, trainer, he's starting immediately with the experienced Nugent. You've got to, you've got to have a balance of experience and youth in there if you want to bring in the youth. You can't have two young lads. Suicide. Yeah, I'm going to bring in a central midfielder to go on the bench. Uh, yeah, bring it on there for Egg Pitted. Uh, all right then. Wish me luck, boys. I am going to tell the boys, try and give them a bit of a... I can actually choose numbers for the season, which I'm delighted about. like it when you can choose squad numbers. Choose a bit of... Serious level football, isn't it? Anyone I know there? No. Just go out there and have a passionate speech, I reckon. Yeah, we owe Haven and Waterlooville after what happened in the last match. Go out there, get revenge. That's what I want. I don't know what happened in the last match. I can't remember what happened. There. I don't think even I was the manager when we last played him. But there we go. Uh, let's do the job, boys. Let's go. Greenwood's taking a knock in 10 minutes. Looks like it pull, could be a poor groin. He's indicated he wants to come off. That is a disaster. Wait to see how this goes, but... Let's go then. Oh, he's been tackled. Can we get the ball back? No, he cleared away. Patachi, here's Greenwood. Let's see how he gets along. Not a ball back. It's in! It's Jamie Gullen, you get in there. Greenwood didn't look injured to me there, to be honest, mate. Didn't look injured there. I might keep him on just for a bit and see how he goes, but it might be risky. He seems to be recovering and putting back into the match. I'm delighted. Yeah, again, he's telling me to take him off. I'm going to have to do it, I think. Gutted. I'm losing wingers. Tyler Hamilton, who's first choice last season, definitely not this year, but there we go. Let's see if we can teach this club how to play football, shall we? Not a fan. Not a fan of their manager. He thought we were going to go down. We're undefeated and we're going for promotion, boys. All right. I'm not having any of that. Okay, we've got a free kick. If you can hear that noise, that's my dog scratching. What's in? It's got Allen. Come on. Bossing it, boys. Bossing it. Two left at half time. What a performance that is. 70% possession. They've had not even one attack. I am absolutely buzzing with that. I am going to. Passionate. Very happy with the way things are going. Keep up, lads. I love it. I absolutely love that. What a great first half. I've been a bit worried about the team defensively, but they're looking solid. They've not even had an opportunity, and we're looking good here. We're looking good for the points. They've got a throw in. Okay. Okay. All right. They're playing a bit of football. They're getting an attack going. Oh, it's carried away. It's brilliant. It's gullen. What's he got to do with it? No, bit of a waste that, bit of a waste. All right, getting a bit worried, getting a bit worried. That was a bit of a mistake there from the young lad. And he scored. 
Would you believe it? Their first shot, I think. Their first shot and they scored. I think it was uh, Nugent who made the mistake. There we go. We need a goal. We need to open up that gap again. Get that cushion back in. Gullen. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, it was a foul. I received given a penalty. Brilliant. Who is it? It's going to be Hamilton. He scored it. The cushion is back. It's 3-1. Oh, inspired. Tyler, Tyler Hamilton, you've come on and you've made your you've made your mark on this game, my friend. Get in there. Not sure I want to change it up really. We've done alright. I might take off this guy. Patachi put on put on Billy Mitchell. He's on a book in, don't want to go down to ten men. Buzzing with the pumps thus far. Bit disappointed we didn't get the cl uh, the clean sheet. Defensive error cost that, but we're doing alright. McGavin's now on a book in. United's third yellow card already of the season. Might take him off. He's a great player, but yeah, bring on Hickey for that. Well, guys, I'm absolutely buzzing with this so far. Brilliant performance. That's how you do it. That is a tremendous performance. 66% possession. Only at them four shots in the end. Brilliant. Delighted with that. Absolutely delighted. I'm going to let that manager have a bit as well. There's going to be fireworks. I'm going to interact with him and tell him he's a wanker. Can you do that? Is there a wanker option on this game? Uh, I have to have a word. See if you can call opposition manager a wanker. That's got to be a got to be an option in it. What the press said, "Yeah, hammer, hammer's right. Hammer's absolutely bang on." Trainer, professional debut, and was accomplished. He looked good. He looked solid out there. Yeah, seven. Decent performance. Can't be uh, can't be unhappy with a seven. Oh, yeah. I had a couple of clubs come in and get offer me interviews. Cambridge and Scunthorpe came in, offered me interviews. I'm a Concord boy. I'm a beach boy. I'm taking them up. I don't want anything to do with it. Just rumours. I remain committed to Concord and nothing has changed in that regard. That's what's going on. That's the truth. That's the way it's staying. I'm not interested. At this rate, Bristol City could come in for me and I'd be like, do you know what? You're all right. I'm, I'll take the Concord and we'll meet you guys later in a few years' time. All right. How do you have a word with the manager? Paul Doswell. Interaction. You can't slag him off, can you? You can't call him out, call him a prick. Apparently that's not an option. Bit of a shame. I'm sure there's a way you do it. Oh well. Bit of a shame. I hope I get asked about him. Because he's, uh, he's gone in with his tail between his legs. He's come here. He's been outplayed by an absolute quality football side. There you go. It happens. There you go, boys. Denied and scum thought I'm not interested. I'm a beach boy. We know it. I'm a beach boy. Hopefully you're beach boys too. Uh, that gives us the... Uh, that ends today's episode. Let's see where we'll come back. We'll have a look at the schedule. We'll see what big games we've got coming up. Spenimore's next one. Morecambe, Mainston, Halifax, Woking, Gloucester. And an FA Cup game, Basingstoke. Do you know what? Let's make Basingstoke the next one. Basingstoke with a team, if you didn't know this, last year we were challenging for the title of the Vanner Animal National South or whatever it is against these lot, Basingstoke. And uh, it went to the last game of the season. I was even on points with Basingstoke and whoever won went up as champions. They beat us 2-1. That's how I had to take the playoff route. Uh, luckily I'm a great man manager and an inspirational guy so when they were down I went in the room and said lads don't worry about it. we've got another route and they upped their game they beat two very difficult teams and I think it was Dover and Helm Hempstead up I want 
revenge on Basing Stoke. That will be the next one. I'll play through the rest of the games. Hopefully, there'll be clean sweeps because at the moment we're looking quite good. We're scoring goals. Defence has improved ever so slightly. Come on, the beach boys. See you later. Subscribe, bell notification, like, you know, all that stuff. Cheers. Jay Morrell. All the best. Cheers then.